I arrive at the aquarium to find that the school buses have beaten me there. Preteens huddle around their teachers in small groups, yelling at each other and goofing off. Every teacher looks like they're at their wit's end. <laughs> Hugo jogs up to me, looking frazzled. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Roger. <laughs> of course, that was me. Oh, We're yeah. sitting here, oh. like, waiting for you, oh. and you're like, Pardon me. Do, 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 do. Hugo! Uh. It's been a debacle all morning, I say. We're short handed, and most of the kids won't stop screaming. As I'm sure you know, it is the case with all the middle schoolers. Of course. I lived through Amanda at 12. I'm all too familiar. Huh? <laughs> great, great, well, hmm. Well, it's you and me chaperoning a group of ten kids. They're over here. Hugo well, walks me over bad. to a gaggle of preteens who are all sitting on the ground playing with their phones. They're not kicking each other like some of the other groups, so we're off to a good start. We've got the zombie, but we got the zombie bunch. Hmm. Oh, can you guys put your phones away? We're trying oh. to learn. Now it's gonna hit the fan. All of the kids look up for a moment to stare at Hugo. They then go immediately back to texting. Oh my god. At least they're quiet. Hmm. I'm too quiet. These guys are up to something. I can feel it. Yep. There's no way. They're too busy thinking about not getting food stuck in their braces to pull any stunts. It's middle school after all. Well. <clears throat> no, we'll see. <gasps> Shark! <coughs> Turkey. <clears throat> the classes start filing into the aquarium, and Hugo hands up massive stapled packets of paper to each kid. I want to know what this octopus is doing over here. He's hanging out by his rock. It's probably his house. Oops. It did it on its own. It did it on its own. I don't even touch it. <laughs> sure. All I did was point at the octopus, and Steam was like, "No, <laughs> no touching the octopus." You could say he's octopied. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> I applaud you. <laughs> yes, shut. <laughs> Uh, it's like, shut up. These are due at the end of the field trip. Yes, this will be for a grade. No, you can't borrow a pencil. The kids collectively groan and grab the sheets from Hugo. What's in the packet? Ah. Honestly, it's just busy work so that the teachers can have a moment's reprieve. I think one of the questions asked them to sit quietly for ten minutes to think about the Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna work. And how it is slowly dying. <laughs> yeah, that's sad. Thank you for making this sad. <laughs> I am bringing Thanks up ocean Hugo. awareness. That is what I do. Humans uh, kill everything. <laughs> Great Barrier Reef is just one of those things. Yeah. Yep. We kill animals. So we can eat. Teacher hack. I like that. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were an English teacher. What does the aquarium have to do with books? Everything. Oh. We just did a unit on the old man and the sea. Uh, nothing quite like introducing kids to the futile perseverance of the human spirit by making them pet stingrays. Oh, God. <laughs> I would have loved you as a fucking teacher, I'm just saying. Yeah, that's probably why we weren't popular in school. We actually probably would have enjoyed this trip. <laughs> <clears throat> I enjoyed any trip that got me out of class. <laughs> uh, the time oh. before cell phones. I know, right? It gives us time to check out some of the exhibits as well. Come on, they have a phenomenal section on tropical fish. Yay! While the kids sit on the floor and pretend to do their assignments while they text, Hugo and I wander over to a large tank filled with brightly colored fish. Hugo points to a brown and white fish with long spines. There, touch it. Oh, is that a lionfish? Hey. That right there is a lionfish. <laughs> Did you know that their stomachs can expand up to 30 times in size? Yay! That's big. Whoa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why they're a parasitic invasive species. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Ah. The spines are venomous, too, and can kill you. 
Nature's hardcore, man. <laughs> no shit. Yes. You think that's bad? Take a look at this one over here. Hugo points to a spiny, grumpy-looking fish hanging out near the bottom of the tank. Rockfish? Oh. That's a stonefish. Oh, the most venomous Ugh. fish in the world. Dang. This, this aquarium just happens to have one? Hmm. Ow. Where are we? The aquariums in Japan? This fucking rocks. <laughs> I know, they even had mantis shrimp at Sea Paradise. That was crazy. They don't anymore. Oh, that sucks. After you, I went, uh, I'm two weeks after to see you... Them. I went, I went to the aquarium two weeks after you guys left. Gone. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Well, I'm glad yeah, we Wade came back. I'm like, oh, they have, they have, they have the shrimp. And then, nope. <laughs> I was like, I was so pissed. You well, can they name have a, to you, be a liability to keep around. You can name a fucking penguin, but no, no punching no shrimp. More, no more mantis shrimp. Ah, <laughs> oh, sigh. They just, just like keep it here. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Well, no one's jumping in the fucking tank. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah really. Let me see! <laughs> if no one has figured it out yet, the ocean is my shit. <laughs> what? She likes the ocean. It's Ooh, her jams. I thought she like she pooped out the ocean. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you pooped out the ocean. Makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I am the creator of the ocean and everything within it. It is, it, it is literally your shit. <laughs> oh, they're relatively harmless as long as you don't step on them. Relatively. Uh, and what happens if you do step on them? Death, uh, I assume. I think you... I mentioned they're venomous. <laughs> oh. Tissue necrosis. Ooh. What's that? Whatever touches it starts dying. Oh, God. It, decay oh. it, it, it decays... It decays your decays. skin. Where it touches uh, it. It's like a black mamba bite. It, it's a flesh eating venom. It, yeah, it becomes necrotizing fasciitis. Oof. Yep. Oh, sometimes my medical background really just. Uh, oof. Yep. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Nature is wild. Man, Hugo seems to know a lot about fish. I feel the overwhelming need to impress him. He's talking about a cool Oh, fish. no. Hey. See that fish over there? I fucking eat it. <laughs> that fucker over there, he tastes good with dill, basil, and lemon. <laughs> Don't all fish taste good with top that? Of the exactly. rosemary, top of the rosemary chamomile tea. <laughs> Wait. You should know a lot about your fish. <laughs> um... Flat one? Yeah. That's the, uh... American longfin, blue-nosed wiggly fish, save, humphead save. grassy. Save. Oh, God. <laughs> Should we save before I do something terrible? Yes. Can you... Yeah, good. You, I like that you can save any time. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> Every part of me wants to see what happens when I say blue-nosed wiggly fish. Oh. <laughs> Ah, oh, it worked! Yes! <laughs> yeah. Did you know that? Oh god. Paranormal fish trivia, psychiatric fish trivia, political fish trivia. <laughs> safe, safe, safe. <laughs> Paranormal fish trivia. Ah, oh, it didn't work. Ah. This fish sleeps upside down. Contrary to popular belief, is not an actual vampire. That's the vampire fish. Hold <laughs> on. Okay, okay. <laughs> <That's horrible. laughs> vampire fish. Oh shit! Political fish trivia. Nope. This fish openly supports the legalization of marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> The ready for this game is just brilliant. <laughs> wow. <It's great. laughs> Some great fish. Oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> I think this is psychiatric fish trivia. No, it didn't. Ah, uh, This is the only species of fish known to develop clinical depression. Wait. Oh, shit. So I have to pick between one of the three. Hmm? Wait, are you serious? serious? Serious as a heart attack? Absolutely not. 
Absolutely not. Ah. So if we could pick any of those, should I go with paranormal oh. fish trivia? Oh no, it worked. Okay, well that was little hearts. Oh. Will that work? Good one. So okay, then, we, what answer do we want to go with then? I don't know. Which one do you think is going to give me the eggplants? Let's go with the vampire one. That one seemed pretty funny. Yeah. That are, oh, I don't know. They're both really funny. They're all really funny. Let's go funny. with paranormal fish trivia and see if we can't get eggplants out of this man. This fish sleeps upside down, but contrary to popular belief, is not an actual vampire. That's the vampire fish. Wait. Oh. Wait. Are you serious? Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, nothing on that one? Playing for the gig here. You gotta read it before I get it. I did. I said I'm playing for the gig here. Oh. Oh. Oh, good one. Damn, no uh, eggplants. Yeah, it's the same. Okay, okay. Oh, are you sure they're all gonna be the same? Yep. Even the weed one? Yep. Fine. We lead the kids to the- to the another room. To another room. Sharks, sea turtles, eels, and other marine life swim around in a massive floor-to-ceiling aquarium. The kids begin trying to take selfies with the sharks. Oh, wow. Oh, Damn God. straight, they're badass like that. <clears throat> but why would you keep sea turtles in the same tank as sharks? I think it's just in the room. I think they're just in the Yeah, same they're room. in another room. Well, the way it's described, it's saying it's a floor, <laughs> floor to ceiling tank. They're oh, all, they're all they're together. All in the same tank. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's I like the one in Hakejima. Yeah. I think they're tame sharks. There's no such thing as a tame shark. No yes, there is. such thing. No. Yes, there is. Look in at my it. heart. That's what they are. In my heart, they're tame, but they should never be in a tank anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Well, at least then people aren't going to eat them, right? Yeah. Hugo leaves my side to separate two kids who started fighting over a Capri Sun. Oh, wow. I walk around the room, reading the tiny little blurbs about different fish swimming inside the enclosure. After a while, I look around and see Hugo again. He's gazing up at the aquarium in childlike wonder. The ripples in the water cast blue, moving shadows across his face. For someone surrounded by angry, hormonal preteens, he looks completely peaceful. That's what aquariums do. It helps that his son is not there. He looks really cute in this light. I hope he doesn't notice me staring. Notice me staring. Oh, also, pro tip, a lot of aquariums have a black light. Do not wear white underwear under your black clothing to an aquarium. You did that? I did that. I didn't know. Someone didn't tell me. Well, I didn't uh, think to tell you that because I always wore black anyway. Huh. Well, I don't, ha I don't wear black undies. I just had on black pants. I, I and rarely <laughs> wore white at all. Even back then. Wow. No, this was at our trip to, to Japan to see Paradise. Oh, don't that's you right. Remember? I was still wearing we black. We got on the escalator and the guys behind me started discussing my weird flowered panties. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> that's when Eric told Eric to step behind you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, it's like, it's like sorry. Your, the white of your underwear is showing through your pants. I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't have stretch pants on either. It was regular pants, regular like jeans. jeans. Yes, yeah, my yeah, regular that's jeans. What black lights will do, man. <laughs> Straight through them. Wow. Well, I you gotta remember, it, it was an escalator tunnel of light, so. <laughs> Pro tip, they weren't flower panties either. They were paisley. Thank you. Jeez. I don't think there's a word for paisley in the Japanese language. Oh, paisley. <laughs> they probably just say that. But they did right, say anyway, anyway. kawaii and kirede. <laughs> What's that? I, know, I, don't, I know what kawaii means, but what is that? Kirede word? means beautiful. Um, probably not to me. They were probably talking about the fish at that point. No, no, they were still looking at you. Ah, oh, jeez. Shut up, you. Oh, wow. <sighs> ah. I walk over to join him. I pull my pants tightly around me. Oh, <laughs> beautiful, isn't it? I'd rather stare I'd rather at you. you. We can uh, learn a great deal from Mother Ocean. Are those two sharks kissing? <laughs> we can learn a great deal from the Mother Ocean. <laughs> a great many mysteries lie in the ocean. It's truly fascinating to be able to observe it in a setting such as this. There oh, we go. Yeah. That's very astute point there. I didn't know you had a brain in your head. Also, are those two sharks kissing? That would be <laughs> fighting. 
We stand together for a moment, admiring the wonders of marine life. Oh, the touch pool! <gasps> yeah, I love the touch pool. We eventually make our way to the touch tank, which seems to be the only thing the kids are actually interested in. The tank is filled with a variety of horseshoe crabs, sea urchins, stingrays, and small fish. Aww. I love the touch tank. They're fun. Yeah, we had fun at the touch tank, didn't we? <clears throat> I love every touch tank. I like, I like, just, they're fun. I like, yep. I don't know why. Huh. I stand around the edges of the tank and keep a wary distance from the sea life. Who knows what kind of nefarious plans those horseshoe crabs have for my well-moisturized hands. Well. Are you serious? Well, buddy. <sighs> Ma, this isn't really like Mom. Hugo rolls up his sleeve and sticks his hand right in the water. So My manly. man. Don't you want to pet some rays, Lear? I so would. Oh. I think I'm good. I, I don't really... I, I think I should just stay over here and admire them from a respectable distance. <laughs> oh, come on! It'll be fun and informative! Stingrays are really fucking soft. They're about to sting me, aren't they? <laughs> don't make fun of me, but I'm scared to touch them. I get weird when there's no glass separating us. <laughs> uh. I don't know what any of those things are, but I get the feeling they will probably bite me and my delicious hands if given the chance. Nothing in this tank can hurt you. The stingrays had had their bombs removed, the horseshoe crabs only eat little clowns, and the anemones are perfectly safe to touch. I love touching anemones, they're so soft. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh my god. Like, Against my better judgment, I approach the tank, slowly dipping my hand into the cold water. I touch a stingray as it glides past me. Yay! See? Not <laughs> so bad. It feels like fun, slimy leather. It does. Yep. Soft, fun, slimy leather. Things get a lot less scary when you learn more about them, right? Yeah, like when you said they had their barbs removed. I dive my hand back in to touch the tank with a renewed vigor for ocean life. I poke at some urchins and feel the hard carapace of a horseshoe crab. That's those guys right there. I can tell. My hand brushes against Hugo's as we reach for the same anemone. I pull away, blushing. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo smiles at me. Mmm. I'm glad my daughter's not here. She'd be going, Ew! Hey. hey, you're supposed to be touching the fish. <laughs> Sorry, I just uh, I get a little carried away sometimes. Huh? Wait. That girl over there looks suspicious. Huh? What's that? Hmm? Are backpacks usually that wet? Hold on. Oh. Oh, God. Susan! Susan, get back here! She's trying to steal a fucking fish. Hugo runs after a middle schooler and catches her before she can make it to the exit. Won't tell me what's in the bag. Uh, textbooks? I should oh. do it, her voice. Oh, you sorry. know, I am a middle school girl. So. Okay, okay, fine, you do it. Uh, textbooks? Wanna tell me what's really in the bag? It's weed. It's sweet. Really, Susan won't budge. I walk over to Hugo and the girl. I think he might need a bad cop. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look, kid. We don't have time for games here. That's an easy 5 to 10 in the clink. I'm not afraid to hit a child. <laughs> we don't have time for games here. <laughs> hey, she said. Oh, shit. Well, obviously, I'm not afraid to hit a child is wrong. So should I say a funny 5 to 10 in the clink? I doubt the middle school is going to know what the clink is. <laughs> That's what makes it funny. Are you taking me to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs>